They do hit him, but not enough to get the kill. More up on the site, spraying the smoke, and oh my, he mows him down. It's an easy round for Heroic. Four to one with five alive. Good for the money indeed. One thing I will say, like from covering a lot of NACS this year, it felt like especially kind of towards like the mid end point of the year, it felt like, especially for like the three top dogs, and I'm talking, you know, Furia, EG, Liquid, things got like a little more puggy at one point in time. Like they were trying to have a bit more fun with it. And I do sometimes think that, you know, that, that does, you know, what would there be in so many games being played all the time, right? It, it does feel like maybe that, that kind of more relaxed, having fun with it, chilling out, has hurt them a bit in these European bouts whenever they've come over, because the level in Europe feels like it, it hasn't necessarily dropped, even though it feels inconsistent, right? I don't think we ever see teams just kind of having a joke, having a laugh in the yeah. server. And that's the thing, like in NA, the gap between those those three top teams, aside from Chaos, who were able to kind of challenge it and close it a lot, never really felt like there was much of a, a chance for the teams outside of those to actually start picking up event wins. Lovely trade for Tessis, but Twist is quick in the apartment, and Liquid once again have a man up. No shotgun needed. Tessis goes back to the pit. Stown still sits solo B. It's round like these where Liquid might just try and full execute that site. But the jump up, how does Tessis win that battle? I do not know. Twist is dead on the Apps Lurk. And now they actually pre-rotate B. It was looking like Liquid wanted to rotate back, but funnily enough, they're hanging around the middle. Luckily enough for Heroic, Looking like they want to re-aggress at B. They're going to have this info ahead of time. Tess is now making the call. Guys, they're all on me right now. But it's looking like Arch for Liquid. 40 seconds. Enough time to wrap B in. With Heroic getting aggressive, Liquid might not have a split. But they could swap sites with Heroic and take B through the spawn. Tess is now making the call. Guys, it's awfully quiet at A right now. And Heroic, they're going to realize too little and too late. Yeah, they'll hear that flash go into B, and there you go. Like you can see the pennies drop. Borup's like, oh, bother. I better start head heading back round. But this side's already fallen. Now, it is a three-on-three -three retake over towards B, so there's still a big old chance here for Heroic, even with that bomb down. With all three coming from Banana, a lot of this is going to hinge on if they're given any of these early fights. And this utility, this Molotov, can be used to force players out of position. Now combining that with the flashes, Grim caught out in the open. He really needs to make a bit of a stand here. And Stewie is there to help him out. It's left to Tess says he would need the ace in the 1v2 if he wants to pick this up. And at just 36 HP, he's bowing out of the round. He's given it over to Team Liquid. Great little wrap in through CT spawn yeah, there. Perfect. I also like that whenever we have the uh, Liquid player cams up, you can see Moses stood behind them looking onward. Yeah, it's great to see Grimm in Europe as well. I feel like that's a big talking point we can get into as, as well, right? Not to say that, like, when Liquid had Nitro, that's when they had most of their success. Obviously, the, you know, the world and the, the scene is in a very different place right now. But Grimm, Grimm has looked great throughout all of Liquid. There's been no doubt about that. But, of course, you know, if we just go off of the, the evidence, Liquid have been worse since adding Nitro. But you can definitely say that's due to them kind of being stuck at NA as well. Grim against European teams, against some of the best teams, and looking good. It's early days, though. 4-2. to two. Liquid on the board again. Stown's got the orb. Doubled up. Kadian taking his towards B, and Stown holds for the bench peak on middle. There's nothing coming through. Talking of young talents, this guy's definitely one for the future. Hell, he's one for the present. And right now, he's going to give a gift to Liquid right down middle if they come up through this choke point once again. But a lot of porch molly. Stewie's going to chuck another one out. That should force Stown back. Bad timing for him on the unscope. He could have caught a player uh, going through before the flash. But instead, he bides his time. And the fact is, Liquid don't even know about one orb, let alone two of them. So a lot of tricks up the sleeve, in, uh, up heroic sleeve in this round, rather. And if Liquid try and go back late B, they're going to run into Cadian as well. Brought up with a full set of utility. Neither of these orbs have still fired a shot, and Liquid move up Banana to retake this control. Oh. There's Cadian striking down the first. Stewie trying to swing that angle, and they get sent packing from B. This decision that they were maybe looking to try and potentially like CT split the site or just fake out the B side of the map has not worked well, and Stown is now firing off with his orb as well. Everywhere they go, they are running into these orbs. And this has kind of made this Team Liquid T-side grind to a bit of a halt. And that's to buy time for this long smoke to get thrown over by a liege. Oh. 
Rest of the gang out through mid now, and they've got this presence up short side. But with just 15 seconds, they try and pick up the pace, and they get shut down. Heroic. A lot of crossfires well established over towards that A site, and Liquid haven't really done enough to change that. Yeah, definitely the surprise factor of the AWP that pretty much wins Heroic the round. It gets them into a five on three. Liquid, they could have assumed there was an orb, but they never flashed either of them off. Especially when you die to Cadian, like Stewie dies there, and the call is, let's go away from that orb. Let's go back to A. They try and take long, and boom, Stan hits another shot. There's no flash for a liege, and suddenly, yeah, the round's just almost lost at that point. Liquid needs to do something incredible to pull that three on five back, and Heroic, not going to let it happen. Smoke up B on the Molotov, but Heroic, aren't worried he trade grenades double onto the logs molly to follow oh grim get out of there buddy just deegs for liquid Oh, they try and fake this top B control, and they hear that orb fire off. The only problem is, is that Flash hasn't really done a lot in selling this fake. And that's because Borup was tucked sandbags playing this bait and switch anyway. You can actually see he's kind of headed back round now on this rotation. And now they realize it is the A play. They were right in their assumption. Doesn't matter, though, because these B players aren't going to be needed. Nico and Tessez have already torn this round away from Team Liquid. Heroic. Looking incredibly dominant right here, right now. Tessa's 13 and two, having a lights out game. And we don't really have anyone on the Team Liquid side who has that kind of star power yet. In NA, that was almost one of their problems whenever we spoke to Moses, as he said like, yeah, we have these great individual players, right? And that sometimes bails us out of situations we never should have been in in the first place. So it feels maybe a little bit easier to lead into mistakes, because if you're winning the round, it might not feel like a mistake in the moment, right? Well, those stars, those big players that we're so used to seeing aren't really showing up yet for Liquid. Obviously, still early days, but it's 6-2. You're hoping they can right their wrongs soon. At least he would there be one of the players to keep an eye on. And there he is with a double. Now, this aggression coming through Ooh. is giving up player after player to Team Liquid. Now they spot Nico in the apartments, and that there is going to be the green light to go with this B play. Cadian missed shot, and Grim quick to capitalize. Oh, that two on five was like, I don't want to say winnable, but Cadian, that, that was a sitter and that looked dead on. There was no flash for Liquid. They just contacted him for the trade. No trade needed. Cadian whiff and Liquid into B. Nico trying to save that already in T-spawn. Oh, he hits a beat and Elige doesn't care. Great round for Elige. You say we need a star to step up and he does exactly that. Heroic tried to exert some pressure down mid with a double push supported by the AWP and Elige tears it limb from limb. No save today. Heroic still have a, bit, a big bank of cash, so they can continue to invest for another. But this is where Liquid could certainly start to break the money and build upon this T side. It's not dire yet. Naf's on the AWP as well. This is going to be something to keep our eyes on across the series. Naf v Stewie AWP, right? Stewie often taking it. More so on maps like Mirage, like Dust2. In the past, they've said that they wanted to, you know, promote consistency by giving Naf the AWP on, AWP on all maps. But yeah, it, it can vary for Liquid. It can depend on those spawns, on, on what they're trying to do. You'll see Stewie take the AWP on Nuke a lot to T-side AWP silo at a spawn. Right now, Cadian's found the first. Stewie's gone, man. He has been getting picked apart at the top of B. Not a fun roll against a team with such good utility. Often getting dunked with nades and picked up by AWPs. Heroic. They go for a heavy rotate out of the B-bomb site. They can afford to do this. They can play retake if Cadian goes down. You hope he takes another with him at the very least. And if he trades one for one, that's a four on three. And that's a likely retake round for Heroic. Let's see if Liquid are going to get into the bomb site. Wall smoke down. Bomb is walking back mid though. And Twist is still lurking apartments. What that smoke has done for Liquid is pull over this rotation of Stown from CT. And he actually just throws the top banana smoke from there. So that's going to keep them out of this B site. They're still looking like they want to go for it. And this would be the right decision to make. It's just, can they put a stop to Cadian? He does not waste any time. He tries to barrel into the site to put a stop to the B play. But it's a Legion Grim offering up those entries for Team Liquid. 
Yeah, Kadian had to get a trade there. Like He had to go one for one. Another three on three. Last time Liquid won this. It was Heroic coming fully from Banana. And this time Liquid have that control in the form of Twist. Plus, now for the Norp and the Post Plant, there's a lot of utility for Heroic. They've got to get moving. Now with the swing, there's the first man gone. Traded immediately by Tessas. Twist smoked off at the banana, Whoa. and now it's all going to come down to him. The bomb is not planted for him either. He's got to swing wide if he wants to get them off this defuse, and they're just sticking it. He's too late to the party. That smoke saving Heroic, making that a very, very rough round for Twist. Honestly, I think the moment that falls into the 1v2, it's done. Like, no matter if Twist rushes that straight away, tries to, like, trade any of his teammates, the fact that that smoke is down and the bomb is not planted for Banana proves to be a grave error. And that's the thing, I think with how Liquid were, were kind of setting that round up, they never wanted it to come down to Twists, right? Like, he was just there to put a stop to that Banana retake that we saw a couple of rounds ago. Well, when that doesn't come through, his position is kind of... Kind of bad when you look at how the uh, the bomb is planted. Yeah, there's lucky hero or not lucky, but well played. The heroic held on to so much utility on that A bomb site, right? Like they were set up double arch at a certain point. So they have all those mollies for a retake. Oh, it's a messy spray for Tessas. He's had a great start to this game, but that's finally a whiff that may cost me. And Nico trying to hold on through the molly they go. And Nico almost aces the round. It's just Twist up in the apartments is the orb. Twist with a bang, a flash, and he goes back as Heroic fully rotate in through library. He could go B, there's no one here to stop him. Does he realize, does he take the advantage? Looking back at Banana willingly, but now Stown comes in on long. This is a big fight for Twist to open up that B-bomb site and Stown won't let it happen. It's Heroic with another round. What a mow down from Nico as well. Just when we had Tessis performing, now you add Nico to that list. He's up on 13 after that one. Absolutely slays them in middle. And Liquid, no plant, no money. 8-3 with an eco in their wing. And that's the thing, like, you can see how, how confident and heroic are. In a lot of these rounds, they are getting very, very aggressive early on. And that can feel so restricting if you're Team Liquid, right? Like, they're, they're just not giving you any respect. And it's like, man, look at the names in this team. Like, you've got a major winner here. And then you've got guys who have been at the top level of NA for, for so damn long, and you're just getting no respect from Heroic, right? Like, they're not giving you anything for free. They're always willing to take the fight. They're always trying to get in your face. And even when they are just holding, it feels like you can't go anywhere. It's a leash to open up another round. This time, it's Cadian on the receiving end of that Deagle. And, oh, Nico. You know, get flushed into Tessas, and he goes two for one. Honestly, that's pretty stellar from Tessas over at the long side. Now, this will allow for this CT Wrap to come in. Oh, Rim winning that important fight forces Stown back to defend B. Is he ready for the CT Lurk? They're both here. Oh, tagged up on the peak, but he flashes back in for oh. another. Elige blind as a bat is able to get it down to the 2v1, but don't write Nico off yet. This guy, oh, gonna get rid of Grim, and now it falls into a 1v1 that never should have been. That Molotov at least buys Elysia a little bit of time. Oh no, the nade, nah, that's going to dark. Elysia's fine, Nico, like a lamb to the slaughter, runs on in, Elysia up on the fountain. Is there to secure Team Liquid a fourth? Yeah, Elige, that, that's a very, very bold play to stand in the middle of the site. It's a play he had to make, right? If he plays pass, if he plays back, he can die to the utility that we've seen often when Heroic retakes. He's got to take an immediate kill. And at least he catches Nico, you know, not expecting this position. It's his health that forces him to make that play. And Elige, he has been the playmaker for Liquid. Multiple 3K rounds. I, I gotta say, Stewie again, poor guy in middle. He's throwing all the grenades right now. And while his team are tucked close long, he gets picked up by Tessas on the mid peak. He was the player at the back and he dies. It, it always hurts when that happens to you. But right now, eight to four, Liquid salvage an eco round. They pick it up. Cadian flashed off the orb, forced back. It's triple B for Heroic. Finally, they actually give away the banana control for the first time, and that's why they've stacked the site. One player's gone, though, and Borup actually threw the flash that appeared in the kill feed. Liquid know the orb is here on Cadian as well. If they realize this, they can work out it's a triple B setup, and two players are still here in the bomb site. Will that tempt them back into A? The bomb still inquisitive, still here. 
And Twist has even left mid as well. So they don't care. They like their odds in a five on two. And in fact, Heroic, they don't believe. Rotating out as things get quiet. Sending a player towards that A site leaves Kadian alone. This should surely be a liquid round. I see no way for Kadian to make this one happen. He's going to need something incredible. Stalled out by the Utila liquid, but they've got plenty more to throw back in. Will he hit the warbang? Oh, that's a good shot, Kadian. He's got a nice path back into the site. He can certainly take another one. He's bought time for Borup to come in through CT. Oh, Kadian, now they know where he is. Trying to stay alive at the back of the site, having to dance back and forth between the boxes, but it is enough to deal with him. Borup arriving here nice and early through CT, and a flash is there to set him oh. up. However, kind of misses that opportunity with Twist getting down off the top of the boxes. Stown's running away, mate. He wants nothing to do with this round. Tess says, meanwhile, only here with a deagle. <laughs> no kit, otherwise I oh, believe. Or else he would be going for that ninja defuse. Yeah. Full 10 second ninja. Are we going to get it? Liquid on <laughs> leaving no, this I don't bomb think, site. I think at this point, if you're Liquid, mate, it doesn't matter if a few players go down with the bomb. You just want the round. They're ready for it. They're keeping their eyes on ruins. How many can or will he get? Tess is nearing 20 kills. Twist oh. is so prepared. That's a very, very important kill to keep Liquid's economy standing in this T side. There's two rounds left of the half. There's a chance that Liquid can still make this a damn good T side. We got Stewie picking up that AWP as well. And Heroic, for the first time in this map, are broken. Yeah, unfamiliar, uh, unfamiliar territory for Heroic, right? They haven't really been in this position many a time. So, I, do, I have to say, I really like this B setup. We've kind of been seeing it more and more on Inferno, where you do just leave it down to a solo player, and then you play someone like CT Speedway, ready to throw that top banana smoke if needed from CT, can set the player up in the site with flashes. And I like that it's KD in there, because essentially what you're saying to him is, look, you've got the AWP. If you're able to go even like two for one, you know, you've kind of done enough. You've yeah. set us up for a, a doable retake. And it dodges that, it dodges that kind of uh, Inferno classic where both the B players die and it's like, oh, well, save. Three on five, even, even if it's like a three on three, you're just so far away from the site that it doesn't really feel like there's a way back into it. Yeah, I, I agree with you for sure. When the rounds that we've seen the anchors like get away with multi-kills, it's been fine for the retake. But I will say as well, Heroic have, when Liquid go quiet in Banana, Heroic have definitely over-rotated in some of these rounds. They've definitely moved players over. And, and they like the four man A setup. They do it again in this eco. There's nothing objectively wrong with it but they have been caught out by a lot of late B plays for Liquid that have netted them bomb plants, even in rounds when Heroic do win it due, uh, due to a retake. It's been competitive, and that's what I like. And this scoreline is about to close up. Yeah, I like the Zeus. Twist, he's not going anywhere near apps. He's just sitting below right now. He knows it's a low money round, and so Liquid can't afford to make the mistake of walking into pistols. But where do they go? Sad in B. Players looking like they want to go back. That bomb picked up will give us more of an idea as to where this one's ending as Stown gets aggressive, looking to catch Twist on a timing, but he moves to middle. And so this orb sees nothing, not yet at least. It's about to realize it's a B play. And oh, Twist, he could get a lot done here. If only Tessus just died for the info. Instead, it's the orb gone from the round. That could have been huge if Tessus just fed, basically. It would have been more favorable to Heroic. Instead, yeah, they've got 3B, but at what cost? It's only pistols, and Stewie's tearing them apart. Borov gone as well. Tessus gets the AWP, but he's looking to save as Nico comes in to be his bodyguard. And this is a really nice recovery from Liquid, right? It was looking kind of dire at one point in time. Yeah. And uh, now suddenly, like a seven, eight half is very, very achievable. Oh. Twist is even hunting down these saving players. And this is a nice, well, A, a nice little confidence booster. But B, if you take this AWP away, Heroic aren't going to have one in the next round. So it's actually pretty huge if Team Liquid are able to find it. They don't have a lot of time to find it, though. And that's the big, uh, that's the big question mark right now. Well, they tried really to that man. They're, they're kind of hedged their bets wrong here, though. They, they've really pushed into this A site. They're like, yeah, he's pit. He's pit. I know Tess says, well, he's actually sat up here in the T apartments. Twist, will he find it? Because taking this gun away, Time. taking this gun away matters a hell of a lot to Team Liquid. These orbs have been destroying them. And this is the only way you get what one. Oh, no. Tess says with the turnaround, he hears it. Oh, oh no! no. The wall bang. How's he done that? How's he done that to him? Nerf, how have you done it? I need to see that again. That was through the apartment you wall. You thought Tessas has gotten away with it too. No. What? No. What? Nap? What? 
Man, nah. I mean, like, yeah, you can spam apps with a... Uh, different, man. With, yeah, with Warbang. <laughs> Someone showed a lineup once where you can sit in T-Apps and you can kill uh, a car player at top B. Like, you know, you can spam all those walls with orbs, but oh my, he had one bullet, Harry, to do that. He had one second, one shot. Yes, this was laughing to himself as well, like, ha, 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 twist this so bad. What? Like... Yeah, oh. that, that's a huge kill as well. It's not just a, that? it's not a rifle gun. It's an AWP. There's, like you said, none in this round. Katie is playing UMP right now. As good as those guns were on the anti-eco, that pales in comparison to the sniper. And that's a massive kill for Naf. You love to see it. Liquid, a seven round T-side? That would be pretty damn good. Are Herora going to give it away that easily, though? No kit. Those retakes out of the window, likely, in a round like this. You've got to make the right call, the right read. Liquid walking into the standard A setup. Double pit play. And Naf just trying to pick up another kill through a smoke. My, oh my. One hell of a game on our hands. Looking like they want to try and go fast up in towards this uh, this A site. Actually wrapping in through CT. They bypass the players in A. And this is very, very fast. This might be faster than Heroic are ready for. That Bob moving up through Banana. Heroic have gotten onto the idea, though. They've gone down aggressively through mid to wrap these players at Banana. Naf burns Borup out, and it's down. Oh, the only man yeah. remaining, Stewie, beheads him. And now that three-man banana retake coming in again. That bomb's going down with seconds to spare. They do lose out on Stewie at the top of banana, but Naf is homed in and ready, and I wouldn't mess with this guy's orb today. He's been hitting wall bangs on players he can't even see. Now they try and boost for the off angle. Naf misses the flick. He actually does it. He tags Nico. But they just go blow for blow, and neither kill is found. Tess says, first man in. Naf back on the angle again. Remember me? Oh, now you will. Tess says, given a bit of a parting gift, and Kadian left fighting all on his own is silenced by a liege. And we round this out at seven to eight at the end of the first half of play. A hell of a recovery from Liquid. They've made this interesting now. Heroic sporting that lead. To find out who takes this map in just a moment. If ever there was a time for them to step up, it would be right here. And right now, Tessa's getting closed in on. Does find the first. Hunter's gone. Nearly a third. Oh, that's another. Head off of Amanek. Maybe Tessa's can do it. He does it. Big time players making big time plays. There's no one else you'd want in this. Look how safe EG are playing this. They are not going to make any mistakes with this one. Stan and Breezy being as patient as calm as they can be. Another fate comes in, he draws them closer. With every cue, they line, oh, oh my god! Oh! Spray JKS! It's, this is your replay, same exact pathway run. This time JKS not gonna miss the second engagement though. He'll get that, he'll keep following it up. What a B anchor he is turning into B right now. And yeah, I don't know, they're gonna get slaughtered here. Tizian, last one left and getting shot through. JKS is the thing on that one. Vera, I need a frag out here. 
and he has found Flamey. Boomich with the bomb on his back up high. Can't hit the flick down to 48. Electronic mollies running out of safe haven. Jiggles and fit, hits the shot as well. Go on, Nevera. He saves them with a triple kill. Apex desperately trying to do as much damage as he can to set Nevera up for success. It's not easy for Na'Vi to get back into this, though. A kid here between the two of them. They're running low on time. And that's the info. That's the tag. Nevera tucked in. The last of their util as well. Should be the frag for Nevera. Needs a second. Clean headshot necessary. No time for Perfecto. And just tucking in is the winning move. Nevera's confirmed it. The triple kill for him. The Belgian posting the first round for Vitality. Oh, hi, didn't see you there. It's Heroic taking on Team Liquid. And right now, Heroic, they might be in the lead, but that huge advantage that they once tried to hold on to has now kind of been silenced by the Liquid boys, who are starting to get back into this game. There was a point in time where it looked like Heroic were just going to steamroll them. Couple of headshots from Twists, couple of wall bangs from Nafly, and suddenly things are looking a lot more doable here for Team Liquid. At the end of that first half, we are as close as we can possibly be. And Team Liquid now moving on to this CT side. We've got a bit of utility here. Actually, a lot of utility. Yeah. Utility all across the board. Twist is the only guy with armor. So we've got a real utility-based approach to this pistol. Let's see if that works. Losing Stewie early on was certainly not part of the deal. It's down picking that up, forcing a rotation out from Naf. And that means that kit is on completely the wrong bomb site here as this A play is now looking to come in from Heroic. He's, oh, he just gets spammed through the smoke. Nico knows the spot. Twist is stuck, and Nico wasn't the guy jumping midair. Instead, coming out of the balcony with a second kill. Stout was tagged early in B, and he hasn't moved a muscle. He is waiting for the kills to come to him. And Grim, not interested. It's a lost round, nonetheless, for Liquid, and they know it. Stout can late hunt, try and get rid of some of this utility, get the kid off of Naf. Nothing to lose. His arm is tagged as well. It wasn't a dink. It was body shots to get him to this spot. But will Stown wait for his teammate Kadian coming in from bottom of B? Here comes Stown. Oh, forget Stown. It's Kadian with a quick tap. Naf stuck in ruins. And his day probably in a similar state. Like we'd lose the pistol round. Darren, man, Naf about to start wall banging fools from here. <laughs> the USP, probably not. Oh man, you never know, right? I didn't think he was going to get the apps kill either, all right? Yeah. I know you probably did, Hugo, but... Look at this. Yeah, man, no, Nico was a, a bit of a beast on these entries, wasn't he? And all the while, Tessas is just hopping around. The Danes love that. I remember yeah. it was S-Tag when he was in Astralis, right? Did that on, like, Nuke B ramp, like, hopping, hopping his way down yeah, to, running to draw the attention in. And then when everyone's trying to kill the... Like, what the hell is this guy even doing? Let's get him. Like, you know, everyone else then is just kind of uh, helping out. Okay, so what? we got the force buy back in for Liquid. Uh, Naf going to be donning this scout as well. Hopefully he can he can do some damage with it and make it a little bit easier for these pistols. Yeah, keep it. in mind in the first half, Liquid won the pistol. Heroic immediately upset them in this round. Can Liquid do the same? Well, Heroic are going a lot faster. They're just running amok into this B site. Now, Stewie is good for one, and Grim is able to keep this in the advantage of Liquid. He even lives to tell the tale. Get into the new box. Imagine to stay alive for just a moment. However, Naf, that first man in rotation, is shy out of the round right away. So this advantage is snapped back in favor of Heroic and extended even further. It's going to fall to Twist, but this man is good with the Deagle because he's great with the headshots. Onto the MAC-10 as all these players are low. Runs down the first. Oh, Ooh. and the follow-up as well. Twist oh, with the Deagle round the corner, but it's Tessas holding on to put double digits on the board for Heroic. They get that conversion. They overwhelm the force by just about... And now they're looking good to go 11-7 up. Yeah, respectable attempt from Liquid and Twist specifically, but not ready for the repeat of Tessas, who is on a mare right now. He is 21-8. and eight. He is not stopping. 10-7, Liquid with just a grenade and a P250 in this round. Okay, they put a little bit more in, but nothing to write home about. It should be heroic finding a clean sweep here. Kadian to make some money for that AWP. Apps Molly denies Allegis Cross. And that gives Heroic the apps control if they want to take it. As much as Liquid didn't against the pistols, Heroic feel the same. And just more of a default here in this round. Putting pressure on B, keeping that mid control. 
hoping Liquid give them something before they just flat out execute into this B-bomb site. The fear is it's stacked, but you can't live every round in fear. Sometimes you just got to go for it, full send. And they've been throwing this deep CT smoke. Will that come through again? It's more of a standard one this time around. Coffins as well. And Liquid, I mean, they're, they're cordoned out. You would call this playing retake, but there are no chance they're retaking this bomb site. Yeah, they do have double nades, right? This is kind of by intention. They can try and kill the bomb planter, set themselves up in a five on four just to do damage in this round. That bomb's going down and go the nades. And they do great damage, but sadly just not enough to actually get the kill. Borub, bit of a tank, isn't he? Somehow survives that nade stack onto the bomb plant. They flash KD it in. <laughs> and Ismac 10 tears up Grim. So this round's pretty much a lock in. It's just a question of how much damage can Liquid do. Look at Borup as well, the one guy who's low. He's out of B, man. He's just left it to the rest of his team. Knows they're more than capable of holding on to this. Ooh, man. a lock. That's pretty rough. Yeah. Kadian, that AWP is right there if you want it. Might just run the Mac as well. Even just having it in that round forces Liquid to buy helmets here in their first buy. It will be a decent first buy, right? They force, they eco, then they get the, the big loss bonus. So yeah, head armor on most of the players as they know this MAC-10 could continue and it will. Kadian just going to be going in first and setting his team up for trades. Where will Heroic end up? Lots of grenades for Liquid. They can finally take some control of this banana. They've got three here. Kadian smoked preemptively in expectation of the Molotov and he's boosted his teammate on the logs. So he's not going for it. He's giving it a wiggle but no commitment here at Banana. Dodging the flash, Dewey's ready for the boost. Very aware as Liquid taking advantage and it's untradeable at that as well. Smoke is still down at the top of B. Heroic have to look elsewhere. Yeah, they're hoping they can find some kind of direction over towards this A bomb site where there are still three for Team Liquid. Everyone here over towards A still harboring flashbangs as well. So that's going to be good to set players like Naf up with these long peaks. You can see, I think Twist is just throwing one over now and that will blind the first. And there's the lineup coming through. Naf and Elise do the dirty to Heroic and it all falls onto Nico. He is going to deal with the first man. Spots Twist's in the pit as well. Twist is just a great pit player. So this is going to be a real challenge to, to kind of grind your way into if you're Nico. He is given a bit of room to go back, but with this bomb under Team Liquid control at long side, he will be hard pressed to find anything in this round. And he's already saving. He's backing out of it. I'm surprised he's saving. Look at the bank accounts are heroic right now. Like, yeah, Borob's at 3K, but you're going to get a little bit of loss. You're going to have, you know, 44 at a minimum. And that's enough to fall by. So... Even getting one more kill here against Liquid would, would kind of screw their economy in the long term. Nico's got to be careful not to get wall banged through these apartments, apparently. Yeah, right. <laughs> Didn't but, realize it was as big of an issue yeah. as, uh, as it ended up being. But... No, the, I'm, I'm really surprised that Nico, like, fair enough not wanting to take on Twist there. Twist can just pick his battles. But, you know, getting one more frag could have could have made all the difference. Either way, it's not the end of the world. Nico nice like, crunch uh, on long for Liquid. Nico, like, hits tab. Yeah, Naf's dead, right? Go T-Aps, go save. That's all good. Yeah, few. Yeah, it's still a nice round for Liquid, right? The flash from Twist in pit and, and running through the arch, smokes off of that B-rotate. Liquid just fully committing to the long play and dropping the bomb, dropping three. 11-8, that's their first CT-sided round. Can they build upon it? We've got the AWP out for Cadian. He could have bought it last round, but he stalled it out for here and now. Alish doesn't know that he's up close on the bench. Quick flash to middle. Tessa is trying to bait the shot as well. The nade comes in, does nothing. Three on B. Leaving early is Naf. And that's Grim and Sui just looking down banana, just jump spotting, trading grenades with Stown. Nothing has been done in terms of damage. One damage done in this entire round and loads of utility thrown. Heroic, avoid it well. Bomb pick back up. They've taken mid. Naf is conceding it to play Archway. It's going to speed up his B-rotate, but at this point, Liquid know that it's not a banana play. They've got full control. They've pushed down. They can flank eventually. And there's that long face, but with no flash, Naf is dead to Tessez, and now this play can come through. Stown could lose the bomb. He's late, and Shui runs through banana. He's got the package under his control, and Liege also dropping Tessez. It's pandemonium here for Heroic. They may have the A site, but they have no way to plant this package. Cadian 
with a quick shot, twist picked up, and now they need to go back. Still, he's wrapped into the apartments as wow. well, so that's a freebie on to Nico Kadian. Gonna have to move in, but there's the orb striking oh. Grim off the oh. tally. The volley almost spreads onto him. Kadian's disappeared, man. This is Casper, the friendly ghost on the other side. He's backed up, trying to keep an eye out for Stewie, but Stewie is repositioned right to where Kadian just got this last kill. He is literally hiding under the nose of Kadian right now. Oh, no. But both players are having a guess as to where the other's arriving from. This is all kind of hinging on oh, timing. So there's it. Stewie locking in the round. Team Liquid get themselves a ninth, and it's that wrap down through mid from Grimm that allows them to hold on to it, right? Dropping the bomb, locking that in. Yeah, what, what, like, what a push. Stewie just coming in full banana flank, killing everyone. Even He even gets into apps within seconds, right? Like, drops the bomb, doesn't hang around and plays it. Elige wasn't with him at the, the, the time being. He makes the call, oh yeah, go play bomb. I'm just gonna full wrap and get myself into apartments. He catches another player coming back out. Heroic with focusing on the front line, right? Killing the A defense before they go back for the bomb. They don't want to be pinched in between, you know, an aggressive defense on B and then the A defense that can push at any point. So I like Heroic, they make the best of that round. Kadian just doesn't fully clear the, the player down middle. Yeah, I like that they leave Grim like to hold onto the bomb while still he keeps going aggressive, you know, like keeps pushing his luck into the apartments, gets himself another, then fast rotate back around. And you can see Kadian just wasn't ready for it. I love the idea of like, you know, you just killed Grim there. You know that this Stewie was nowhere near that position. And so he's quick to move in. Kadian's thinking it's like lightning, man. Doesn't want to check the same spot twice. <laughs> and now, Heroic just down to these pistols. Twist boosted up over towards short side. He's got a liege underneath him. The idea of, you know, peeking an opponent from two different angles in the exact same spot makes it a lot harder to deal with. And the boys over towards B, no aggression this time, right? They know the money isn't going to be there for Heroic, so they don't want to risk giving up kills, giving over guns, giving over that B bomb site on the back of anything early. The advantage here for Liquid lies in their ability to kind of long this round out, to keep Heroic at bay, using the pretty limited utility they've got, right? That round coming down to the 1v1 does mean it's still a very, very costly reinvestment here for Liquid. And so in that essence, it's not really like an impossible round for Heroic to pick up. You don't have the usual Molotovs, nades, things like that, that can delay these B plays. You are just relying on these players hitting their shots. Luckily enough, Grim, oh, no. no trouble in that, but Stewie gets caught. The wrap in through ruins now arriving, and Grim's got to stay alive. He's fighting, but he is trapped at the back of the site, and he gets mopped up as well. Oh. Suddenly, it gets a little bit wet and wild over towards B for Liquid. They boost up at the back of the site, and Stown has been spotted by a liege. This is where you'd love that molly from Twist to rain in, and there it is, forcing the peaks out. They mop that up. Great rotation from Team Liquid. Good use of the limited utility that they had, mm. and they put 10 on the board. Yeah, some team damage even in there for Heroic. Stown shooting his teammate in the back of the head. But yeah, not the end of the world, right? That was pistols and they make a pretty good go of it. A bomb plant would have been nice, but Liquid very quick on that rotate once B got lost. I like the spawn take for Heroic, right? We see more and more teams do that. Liquid were even throwing the wall smoke on the T side as well to wrap that CT spot. 11 to 10, this game is close. Liquid trying to take that lead right back. AWP for NAF. None for Heroic. Oh, good flash. Kadian doesn't know they're boosted, though. He's finally realized, but he is so low. He could get spammed through this smoke at any moment, somehow getting out alive. Oh, my. Liquid, they're happy with that one. They didn't get caught on that boost. And they still hold the top of B. Three centered here. The Stown flashes his way out of Banana. Heroic are done with his position. They don't want anything to do with it. Back to middle instead. They know there's a lot of grenades here. And while they're probably expecting one of these B players to rotate out early, as is tradition, that's not the case just yet. Naf will be moving with the AWP now. For the time being, there's two on A. Bomb going back down middle, though. Stewie playing off of Grimm's flash from the coffins. How many can he get, if any at all? He's given it up again, and oh no. As Heroic often did the same setup on the CT side, it gets quiet in Banana, so they rotate 4A. Liquid have done it as well. Stewie second-guessing, doubting it. And that's the right call, sticking around this B-bomb site as the smokes line up. And now they know, right? Nap is immediately rotating around to try and help out. But essentially, this is Grim versus the world in the back of B. 
Stewie's able to distract, and they might even try and boost him up. That looks to be the decision. They're hoping this can allow Grim a bit more of a chance to succeed, but he swings and is dealt with. The trades are even right now. And now this B play Why? grinding to a halt, but time is the problem. The bomb dropped out in the eyes of Naf, and he drops it again. Bye-bye, bomb. It all falls to Kadian, and coming in on this late A wrap, there's just no hope for him. Team Liquid, they tie us up at 11 to 11. This was in dire straits at the beginning of this map. And now Liquid, once again, keeping it competitive, hauling back into this game. You know, if you remember, there was a point in time where this was 8-3 in yeah. favor of Heroic. And now Liquid should be taking their lead, right? Pistols out for Heroic. We've seen them do more with less. Their B play with P250s and flashes and no Kevlar was pretty good. So don't count them out of making this round interesting, but really it should be Liquid's, right? Stewie's back down Banana. Deep Smoke to cut off B. Three here, not for long. Elige rotating back. Naf on the arch side with the AWP. Heroic, just being slow and steady, being methodical, waiting out this util before they make too much of a move. They don't want to be too predictable. Grim's got the re-smoke if he needs it, and the molly, which he probably will need by the looks of things. Heroic are grouping up, ready with a flashbang as Borb from T-Spawn. I'll put him in mid rather. There it is. Boom. Grim has to back up there through the smoke. He's only got a Molotov left. There it is. Down on the ground. And Tess has stalled out. They're going to smoke it. Fast play for Heroic. No fear. Full commitment. Grim with a spray. And he stalls it out. Stewie through the smoke with another. And Grim just trying to stay alive. Putting up another. He's going crazy right now. The eco getting torn to shreds. And Stewie pushes the CT smoke to clean it up. Flawless anti eco for Liquid. No problems whatsoever. Heroic can buy that orb. Unlikely unless Tessas is dropping it. Or Cadian's playing glass, and while he looks to be considering it, might be a bit of a risk. He's saving for it. He buys a Galil. He could have got an AK, but he's playing the long game. 12 to 11 for Liquid. First time they've been in the lead since winning the pistol round in the first half. I don't know how you know how you feel about this, Hugo, but I feel like it's nice that we haven't really seen double orbs come out for Liquid. It has just been Naf, the solo warp in this game. <sighs> Oh, the collateral is in for him, and there it is. One orb's all that's needed. That and the hand cannon to find Nico. And even though they keep this in the advantage of Liquid, right, there is that little trade to come through from Borob. That's massive from Naf, especially in the wider context that Elise does go down immediately there in after. The team Liquid sat in the four on five. Four and three. Can't count. Numbers, not my strong point. Stown back towards Banana. Yeah, we got... 2-2 two, two right now for Liquid. Very much committed in the sights, right? Double pit play gives away Arch Heroic. Don't know that, though. Especially with an AWP on the A site, they're going to be fearful of that Arch position. So it is going to be just a flat-out B here. Stewie watching for a CT wrap due to that lack of long control. And Grim, oh, they're going full contact. They're walking the smoke with a flashbang. They're waiting for the fade. No flash needed. Stan's just gone right through. There's the smoke. Grim caught with nades out. The molly is down, and Grim is up with a kill. Stewie killing one in the fire. It's actually Grim to steal that frag away, and he's down to 20, just staying alive. He's been doing a great job at anchoring this site, but Cadian finally gets him out. Bomb plant can be found, but three health and a one on two to make this one happen for Heroic. Oh, he's trying to sneak behind Coffin. And he they saw, saw him, right? Yeah, they fired a shot past him. They know that Cadian is there. That really limits his opportunities here. The only thing he might have had was the element of surprise. Well, now he's got to land this spray and he's not going to land it like that. Defuse held and Team Liquid onto 13. Looking we, like they want to close this one out, right? This is exciting coming into this. You know, we didn't, we don't really know where to place a team like Liquid here in Europe. We've had real mixed bag results from them. Yeah. Back at Blast, oh, the, they uh, beat Mad Lions, right? So that was, yeah. that was one step up the notch, one, one rung up the ladder. They beat a good Danish team, but heroic, I would say one step ahead. And right yeah, now. and outside of that, right, then we had that, that, like, victory over MIBR, but then it's like, you know, I don't really know where to place that team right now. I don't think we've seen enough from them. And uh, and then outside of that, you know, then they lose to Fleet Furia, which is exactly what was happening over in NA anyway. Yeah. So that was kind of all according to plan. Fly across the ocean just to lose to yeah, the just, partners. <laughs> just to lose to the guys that you're always losing to. Oh, great. Why'd you follow us here, guys? <laughs> us alone. But no, it's about beating, you know, a, a, a long-standing, structured, top team. Heroic number three on those ESL World rankings right now. And Liquid up by two. Can they get it done? 
whoops out on Nav. None for Kaden. He, I, he was saving for it. I thought he was going to get it, but different game plan perhaps for Heroic. 4B for Liquid. All these grenades coming in. That means those A players that rotate back are going to be a little limited if they come down to a retake. Heroic see the heavy numbers on B from the grenades, and they set up smokes on that A site quickly. We've not seen too many A hits in this game. Long smoke down, trying to cut off that orb. Nico mollied off. Smoke down in the apartments as well. They're going right through that long smoke. Heroic, no fear. Full, fast, wrap, nap in the open, covered by a liege. Kadian does trade the AWP, but twist in the pit. He's found two from Grave. Nico puts him in one, and now he's in the clutch. Yeah, but it's a liege played. Oh, that one way. You thought that might have done something, but Nico is so aware. All right, now down to the 1v2. The problem is, is that that bomb was dropped over towards short by Naf and Elise earlier on. And so Stewie and Grim, the two B site players, are just sat on it. Nico, this is not going to be easy. Oh, but there's the peek back in. And now just Grim to oh. beat. Grim is there. And somehow is able to put a stop to that absolute tear that Nico was on. Team Liquid onto 14. And even though we have these like great indiv individual moments from Heroic where it looks like they're gonna squeak around past Team Liquid, it just hasn't been happening. Yeah, that's a very cheesy round for Heroic, right? Not only pushing the long smoke, but then even pushing the moto smoke as well. Like full A rap, f like no, no chill about it. And what a shutdown for Liquid. It may have got close in the clutch, but they win the round. And man, take a look at this scoreboard right now. We have three players for Heroic, 20 players kills. Liquid don't have a single player in the 20 range, and Stown has eight frags. So one of the guys we usually look to to be a big heavy hitter for Heroic has gone silent in a crucial matchup. It's only map one. It's only Liquid's pick, but Heroic could be 0-1 down by the end of this one. Liquid, long smoke. That's a big smoke. That cuts Naf off. He has no info on A. Bomb getting retrieved back at T-spawn. Stewie boosted over the long smoke. He's got to back up. They hear the drop. And so Heroic have their eyes on the prize, watching for any kind of boost as Nat Free smokes apartments. It's again that A hit into the triple stack. Heroic walking into the full hold from Liquid. Oh, twists up in the apartments. He's going to dart in. Naf trying to hold off inside of the site, and he's just absolutely dancing around them, dodging these shots, puts up that double. And Naf, king of the Samba, man, is able to hold on to A with his AWP. Team Liquid, map point on their map pick. And the last tag timeout remaining for Heroic called on in. It really feels like, you know, since this streak on the CT side, this this entire Team Liquid squad have just clicked into place, man. Yeah. CT side, this, this entire Team Liquid squad have just clicked into place, man. Yeah. And even in that first half as well, right? Like we had so many bomb plants, we had so many retake rounds. Heroic aren't even getting that close. They're making clutches interesting, sure, but they're not getting into post plants. They haven't had a bomb plant since the pistol round. That golden snitch that is a bomb down on the site is not available in this game of Quidditch. And Liquid riding their broomsticks all the way to 16, one away and four chances to do it. We've got SMGs for Heroic. Yeah, no, you are right, right? There's been, what, like two bomb plants this half? There was obviously also that, like, attempted 1v2 or 1v3 from Kadia, but he's, like, basically dead at that point. So that wasn't, like, the most impactful bomb Aye. plant you've ever seen. Look at this, Team Liquid trying to get stuck in. They are running the gauntlet down middle. Hello, Heroic! Oh, oh, oh. no! Oh, Naf back in with another. The Molotov almost burns out Borup. This is absolute chaos. Nico might get caught with the Molly out, but there's Stewie dropping the bomb again. And that has just hamstrung Heroic. It looked like they saved the round, but now the bomb dropped by Stewie 2K. And if there ever was a man to elude you, oh, down to these bombs, down to the packages, it would be a guy like Stu. It's left us down in the 1v2. Now, what can he do? That bomb in the prying eyes of Stewie 2K, but he gives it up. He's playing the long game here. Stown, you can have the bomb because I'm in your head rent free. As now Stown has to try and clear all these angles. He can't believe it, right? You wouldn't expect Stewie to give up the bomb here. So Stown's thinking this is too good to be true. He's checking everything. And Stewie will come back. Knock, knock. Open up the door. It's down with the kill. Grim back into this 1v1. And he's all the way over at this A site. A long way from home. 
Stauner's got time. He's got the bomb. He's got utility. Everything you could possibly need. But Grim has got one thing that Stown oh, doesn't, wow. and that is the drop. Hidden in this long corner, ready and raring to go, trying to secure the victory. It's Grim to do it. Team Liquid, 16 to 11, as they best heroic here on their map pick. The first map in this series. And let me tell you, this has just got a lot more exciting. This series has got some legs on it. And how far will it go? You're going to have to join us in just a minute to find out.